Welcome back to 7 News. The holidays are supposed to be a time of joy and celebration, yet psychologists say they are swamped with patients who are experiencing just the opposite. Grief at, grief at this time of year can feel overwhelming. DK Wright spoke with Dr. Patricia Bailey of Wheeling, who offered some calm strategies for coping. Dr. Patricia Bailey says grief is a normal reaction to a tragedy, so allowing that grief is part of the healing process. Don't feel forced to go to get-togethers, and if you do... Give yourself permission to leave. So sometimes I will suggest to people, take your own car so that if you need to quietly exit, you can do so at a time that's convenient for you. She says self-care is vital for someone grieving. So we want to make sure that they limit their alcohol use and eat healthy foods so that they can feel, you know, the best that they can be. Sleep is another thing. We want to make sure that people are sleeping properly because they want to be well rested because that also affects their emotional state. Dr. Bailey says holiday decorating can be a joyous tradition. But if you've lost somebody, it could be very painful to take out the ornaments to put up a tree. And so if you need to minimize that, that's okay. If you decide that it's just too painful to put up a tree this year, that's okay too. And finally, she says grief is natural, but so is happiness. So don't feel guilty or wrong if you laugh or smile at something. Your loved one would want you to be happy. They would want you to go on and to enjoy yourself and enjoy life. D.K. Wright for 7 News in Wheeling, working for you. Dr. Bailey said some families choose to leave an empty seat at the table to honor their lost loved one. Others change up their traditions and invite some new people to the table for the holidays.